stars in one of the most anticipated shows of the year called The Last of Us. Take a look. Daddy. We don't know. They're saying it's a virus, some kind of parasite. Is it from terrorists? We don't know. Are we sick? No, of course not. Why did things blow up? No cell phone, no radio. A minute ago, newsman wouldn't shut up. How do you know? What? How do you know we're not sick? They're saying it's mostly people in the city. That's why they got the highway blocked off. Good. Everyone, give it up for Nika Parker! You look amazing. You look amazing. Thank you so much. I have to say, this is like the craziest experience because I grew up obsessed with dream girls. Really? So this is like the most philosophical Aww. moment. Thank you. Thank you. Do you sing at all? I don't. I wish I could. You don't sing at all? I very much wish I could. But wow. I have a terrible, terrible voice. <laughs> <laughs> You're an amazing actress, though. Yeah. <laughs> you are. Do you live here in LA? No, I live in London. You live in London? Yeah. How do you like it, like visiting here? I love, I mean, I love coming here because we used to live here when I was like 11, so it's kind of like home away from home. Mm. Um, yeah, and also it's raining right now, so it feels like very much it feels like, like it really London. is home away from home because it just is London. So that should bring you some, like, some <laughs> yeah. good comfort, right? Yeah. Ah, okay. And how were you when you started acting? I was, I was 11 when I first filmed Dumbo. Oh my God, what was that experience like? Because <laughs> you were in there with some major names. <laughs> yeah. Colin Farrell. Yeah, it was, um, it was, I'm very grateful that I was so young because I think I couldn't be nervous because I was like, oh, hey, Colin, hey, Michael, and like Danny DeVito's there and I was really relaxed, which is insane to me. I'm, yeah, I think if I was filming that now, I would be having heart palpitations every day. However, I had a huge crush on Colin. Um, Did you? I'm like, I mean, who doesn't have a crush on Colin <laughs> Farrell? He's Colin Farrell. But, um, but yeah, it was weird because he was playing my dad, so it was kind of <laughs> creepy. <laughs> I was like obsessed with him. Um, yeah. But, I, I didn't, you know, I understand, like, it, it's helpful sometimes when you don't know what you're in the middle of because then you, you don't get as nervous and afraid when you don't necessarily know, like, you know, when you're that young or when you yeah. kind of don't know what's happening. No, it kind of shields you in a way where you don't have to be stressed or you don't know to be stressed, depressed. It was, didn't know to be stressed. It, I think I should have been stressed. <laughs> I was just in my brain. I was like, this is fine. This, this is great. Some things is good just <laughs> not to know because then you could get through it better. Mm -hmm. And then your parents are both in the industry. Your mom is an Emmy Award winning actress yeah. and your dad <laughs> is a director and a producer. Mm -hmm. Like. So did you kind of always know that you wanted to be an actress, you know? I think, uh, you know, I was very fortunate enough because both my parents were in the industry. I could kind of visit sets and stuff and I would go a lot with my mom. Um, and it was so boring. Like, it just the it most- It was boring to It you? was just because they would just <laughs> wait around all day. I just like, to me, like acting was just like 90% of the time she would just be like waiting around, like drinking coffee. And I was like, you guys don't work. Um, <laughs> <laughs> But then I think, yeah, we didn't really have a conversation about it. And then I got the audition for Dumbo and then I filmed it. And then it was just kind of a snowstorm after that. I was obsessed and loved it and suddenly realized, I was like, this is exactly what I want to do. That's awesome. And then uh, your parents, did they give you any advice? They didn't, I mean, they, I think they kind of let this be my own experience, but my dad is very, you know, etiquette on set and everything. And it's very important to remember people's names. So he told me, he taught me a trick, which is, you say the name three times in your head, okay. uh, and then you trace the name on your leg three times, um, and that's like supposed to help you remember it. Um, and it doesn't help you remember it. It doesn't? <laughs> so it didn't work? No, but I would kind of like, when I was like 11, be like, right, 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 like, okay, and I'd be like doing that's that. That's a lot of names on the set. You a know lot. me, people was on the set. <laughs> you know what I used to do? When I was in Dream Girls, because yeah. that was my first film. Girl. That was your first oh, film? My yes! Oh my goodness! So I understand what you mean about nerves. So my trick was never to look off the floor. So then it wasn't like a sea of people. Everybody was just feet. <laughs> so I didn't look up because I was like, oh my God, because it was the first film and I'm like, all of these people are, you know, watching you. Because yeah. acting is very vulnerable. So I didn't start looking up from the floor. <laughs> so <laughs> like, I should start doing that. Maybe now. my third or fourth film, actually probably the last one I was just in. I was like, hello, and what do you do? <laughs> and what's going on in this department? But it made it a different experience. But if you ever get nervous, just make them feet. Just the, just the feet. Okay. Hi, guys. That's my advice. So are you, are you driving now? Do you have a license? 
I don't. I just turned 18, uh, and I don't have. You a just turned 18. Yeah, you Happy birthday. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just turned 18, uh, but I don't have a license. But I was just filming a movie with Laura Linney and Woody Harrelson, which is like incredible, um, amazing. amazing. But I spent like a good amount of time either speaking about driving or actually driving. Mm -hmm. uh, and I made it incredibly difficult for production because I can't drive. So the stunt rigs <laughs> are these like insane, like the cars being pushed by like 10 different people. There's someone else driving on like a fake car in front. And it would have just been way easier for me to have just learned to drive. <laughs> but for some reason that just was way out of my skill set. Um, yeah, but I can't drive. <laughs> yeah, but I can't drive. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so tell us about the, the show, The Last of Us, what it's about. It's about, uh, it's based on a video game uh, by Naughty Dog, which was, um, nice. uh, the game was created by Neil Druckmann. And um, it's about a virus uh, from a fungus that infects people and it turns people kind of into these like infected um, creatures and there's different stages of the infected, but it uh, kind of is about Joel played by Pedro Pascal and Ellie played by Bella Ramsey, two incredibly talented people. Um, and. Uh, Ellie can't get infected. She's been kind of bitten by someone, but she can't get infected. And Joel is a survivor and he's kind of seen it all uh, and he's trying to help her out of a quarantine zone. Um, and it's a really, really wonderful story and the game's incredible and the show's just building upon that, so. That sounds awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. Keep up the great work. Learn how to drive. <laughs> and will you come back? Of course, when I can Love drive. Have you. When you drive, you're gonna drive here, right? <laughs> She's gonna drive here. The Last of Us airs Sundays at 9 on HBO and is available to stream on HBO Max. We'll be right back. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.